and welcome everyone to another exciting episode of the Super Carlin Gaming Pokemon Legends Arceus Nuzlocke Challenge, where in today's episode, our plan is to take on our first noble Pokemon, Cleaver. And uh, I am a little bit nervous because uh, these things hit really hard, as we know. Uh, we've seen, we, we know, uh, we fought the Alpha Cricketune already, and yeah. It smacked pretty hard, uh, and we didn't like that. So our goal is, of course, uh, going to be to avoid that at all costs. Now, the interesting thing about these fights is that you don't actually have to send a Pokemon out to fight at all. Like, we could just dodge Cleaver the entire time and just wear him down with bombs, but it's going to take significantly longer to do that. Um, but it is an option. It's something we we could try. I don't think that's what we're going to do. Uh, you know, the point is to use your Pokemon, right? So... I mean, I guess we could just protect them, but if we, otherwise, what's the point, right? Um, I came because I had some news that I thought you might be interested in. Better you actually see what's going on, though. Let's head to it. What did you end up calling it? The Heights Camp? All right, see you there. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. So our strategy going into this fight, I think, is going to be to use Bo Luisa, our Buizel. Ideally, we have... Aha! Weird Air! Excellent. Ideally, we get to um, evolve Luisa into a float soul before the fight. And I would also kind of like to get nice, our Geodude, up to a Graveler state. Because also very, um, very defensive Pokemon. And those are going to be the ones that can hit it really hard. This is very important, so listen well. Or that aren't going to be as at risk of dying from a single shot from Cleaver. So, uh, here, we're about to go weird here. This is awesome. This is one of the, uh, one of the things I love about this game is that forever, HMs have felt like such a chore in Pokemon. Like, you got them and they're basically just like, oh, now you can cut through it. But then it was like, well, then why is it even, why is it even there? Like, all it did was like force you to use certain Pokemon or have like an HM slave on your team. No fun at all. And it was just like, I don't know. They, it felt so... It wasn't, like, fun to use HMs. Um, but this game has totally made it fun. You know? It's like, now you, you get to, like, ride around in a Pokemon? Great. Fly around? Swim? Climb up walls? Like, places become more accessible to you, and it, like, encourages exploration because it's not, like, designated spots where you can climb up. You know? I really like it a lot. Very fun. Look at this. We got a plate. One of Arceus's things from the Weird Ear. Ba-boom. Yay, plate number one. Now use the cell sticker. Blah, 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 blah. We'll gallop all over the place. Now that said, we're probably just gonna hoof it. Huh, well, not hoof it. We're probably gonna... <laughs> Weird Ear has hooves. We are probably going to just walk because what we want to do is uh, train our Pokemon a bunch, right? But here's where we get ready. Weird Ear! What's up? Weird Ear. Medicinal leaks, medicinal leaks, there's a graveler. See, we can't fight stuff when we're on the weird here. Go get it, Luisa. Isabel and Luisa. We need like an Isabel. So, um, let's see. Let's go for this. Let's see, how does the Aqua Jet do, right? Hopefully good. Ka-slam. Yeah, you'd think that'd be a pretty easy knockout since we're like so many levels higher. Oh, another one. Take it down, Luisa. I'm the strong one. I'm not nervous. Yeah, that's right. We're not nervous. We're not nervous at all. Maybe we'll rock smash this thing in its dumb face. You defeated Geodude. Yeah, it's going down. It's going downtown. All right, so... I have finally, I think, spent enough time with our, with our boys here, with the team, to, uh have an idea of like what the relationships on the team are starting to maybe be like Starless keeping its guard up. Ran away! You frightful little bird. So let's have a quick team recap in case you forgot who was on the team. Of course we have the mighty Mercury, our Luxio. Uh, we have Luisa, the Buizel, Nice, the Geodude, Prongs, the Stantler, Grogu, the Scyther, and Spoon, the Pikachu. The throwback to Sporkles. If we had a shiny Pikachu, I can't even imagine. How amazing would that be? I have to say. So Grogu and Spoon, both fairly new. We caught them sort of at the tail end of the last episode, so I haven't had a ton of time getting to know them just yet, other than uh, all I can say is that Grogu uh, is, is you know, as angry around camp as you might, as, as he looks, you know? It's like, it's a Scyther. 
He's very aggressive. You can just sort of tell that's emanating out of him. Um, the one, the Louisa and Mercury, of course, who, who I've gotten to know the best at this point. Mercury, uh, they're, the, they're, the, they're the two who are around for our only death so far. Flockhart, our Dartrix. Ugh, may he rest in peace. May he rest in peace. Um, I wouldn't have thought they had had a whole lot of time to like spend with each other, but Mercury for sure felt the pain of that death. It was like, I I, I think it, uh, Mercury is just like a very empathetic and caring Pokemon, but also like quick to anger, you know? Like took it personally, it was like, I think it was just very clear that um, Flockhart was sort of like the, the first one there, the strong one, the leader, and that was immediately gone. And I think uh, Mercury really enjoyed or really, you know, liked having that uh, someone to look up to and just took it very personally when uh, Flockhart died. So definitely, had, and you know, we saw it last episode, just taking out those dust oxes left and right, crushing it. What's that? Starly, get back here! Think you could run from me? I guess you can, I don't really care. What are you? You can't run from me. I'm gonna take you down, Starly. You going down? Or is it? Is he's gonna run? Ah, oh, man, all these things just running from me. They don't want to get knocked out by our lovely Pokemon. How non-team player of them. Is that like an outbreak of Krikatots down there? That'd be interesting. Hmm, roll out, let's go. Boom! Look at that, that's pretty strong. That's pretty good. Haven't done much fighting with Knights. That's the thing, we've done a lot of fighting with Mercury though we haven't, oh look, it's another Pikachu. Oh, remember last time when we lured the Pikachu away? So fun, so fun. Uh, I don't think we're gonna be, obviously we can't catch another one, but we can, um, you know, fight it, I guess. It can go, it can go down. It can die. This Pikachu, not as good as our Pikachu. Spoon. All right, Pikachu, you going down. Pikachu's looking around, Pikachu is going down, is what's happening. Let's give it the old mud slapzilla. Bam. Accuracy down. Nice became obscured. Yeah. This is another thing to be, because we're obscured, they miss the target. That's good to know. Another really tricky thing in this game is it feels like accuracy is super important. Like, more than ever, I feel like I've just been missing attacks as I play this game. So, we're gonna have to bear that in mind. What are you running from? You running from me? You should be. Fool! How many are attacking me? Just the one? Yeah. Level six cricket attack. This is probably like a waste of a fight though, right? It's not super, bam. Oh, look at that, that's what I hate. Like, this level six Krikatot. No, isn't KO'd by us. Lame. We're gonna find other stuff to knock out. Actually, we should just take all the free experience we can get as well. So, if you're unfamiliar, the way these fights go with the noble Pokemon is that for a while, you're just like on the ground, you personally dodging around, avoiding them. And then when you wear them down, they eventually um, will, you can like send a Pokemon out to fight them. Then if you knock them out with your Pokemon, they you can like hit them for big damage with the bombs. That's what you're throwing at them, these little like sacks of thing, I don't know. Aerial Ace, see look at that. Look how, like we resist flying type moves and that's what happened. That's what's scary, right? Like I'm immediately nervous. Like we go roll out, we're gonna get locked into it. Should we go iron defense first? Yeah, let's do it, let's iron defense. Let's just boost our defense. If we need to take a potion, we will. I've got to be better at being more conservative in these fights. Look at that though, it's so, it is outrageous. Whoops, um, how much damage it does. We're just gonna go here and then we'll see, who knows? Maybe I could have just gone roll out from the start. Air slash again. Not very effective, not very effective, but look how effective, you know what I mean? This is the problem. Okay, so we're pretty effective too, but now we're fixated on it. Air slash, like if they get a crit, we're dead. They did not, thankfully, but if we miss, quick attack! <gasps> like, I feel pretty confident we're gonna knock it out. Should we just go tackle instead? No, let's go roll out, we got it. Oh my gosh, being so risky. Look, this is what I'm talking about though. Like, that should, they should, it doesn't feel like they should have been able to do that much damage to us. 
<laughs> we're so much stronger. We're so, we had boosted defense and resistance, and that's what was happening. Do you see why it's so scary? I hate it. I, I mean, I don't hate it. It's just gonna be so challenging, is what it amounts to. We're gonna have to do some grinding, for sure. We're gonna need to level up. I really think we're probably gonna have to get to the point where we evolve both Nice and Luisa um, before we go fight this Cleaver. And hopefully everyone else will just get some level up points as well in the meantime. By hopefully, I mean they obviously will because everything you do involves um, a certain amount of... Look, there's more! That guy? Is he the one who's fighting me? Boom! You're going down, homie. So this one's even stronger. Using Gust. Look how much damage, though. I don't even know if we can fight it. Like, because we cannot get knocked out. We're going to have to run. We're running from a two-level-up type effective fight. This is what's happening. Don't you dare come attack me, you dumb bird. Do not you dare! It's trying. It's trying. This is hard. This is a hard game. We're gonna have to just like, even picking the fights we can safely grind on seem difficult. Boy oh boy. Oh, it backs away. The Paris. The Paris are everywhere. Look, look, check it out. I got a little Paris pin on today. Uh, a little Paris heart? Ah, oh, man. I think we need... How did I not run into any Pikachu when I was playing this game the first time? I've seen like three in this playthrough. I didn't see any last time. Unbelievable. Here they are. Mud slap. Let's do it. Boom. Going down. All right. Good job. Nice. Nicely done. <laughs> that joke's not going to get old. I'm going to keep saying it. I'll tell you that much. Yep. There's that. I think if we go fight those, like, try and find more of those dust docks, that's probably a pretty good way to do this, because they were, for sure, boons of experience. And these guys are just, you know, not. So we're going to try to sprint past this angry uh, Bibberol there. We don't want anything to do with that guy. Go over here. Get some free experience. All right, I'm probably going to have to go do some grinding here, so... Uh, I might go do that, and then I will catch up with you guys on the other end of it after we have successfully leveled up and hopefully um, evolved. All right. Uh, enjoy the music. I guess we'll interrupt it if anything bad happens, but hopefully not, right? Hopefully not. All right. Enjoy the music. See you in a few. All right, oh my gosh, I felt like, what'd that take? <laughs> like a while, like a while. Sorry, Riley, you had to sit through all of the, uh, the grinding there. You probably you probably just scrub through it. In any case, great news, we got both Luisa and Nice up to the point where they can evolve. So we're gonna have a little evolving party. Are you ready? And then we're gonna go fight Cleaver. It's gonna be great. Here we go. All right, first of all, I, let me just say, as long as I've played Pokemon, I know a lot of people love Weasel. I've never used one. I've never used a Floatzel. So here we go. Big Float. Yes. All right. Hopefully this is the advantage we need in the upcoming Cleaver fight, because I put a lot of effort into getting this. Uh, and now we're going to go ahead and we're going to evolve Nice as well. Let's go. What? Nice really came into his own here in the training. Like at first, was a little nervous sending him out there, but after a while, got that rollout moving, taking stuff down. Look at that big, bad Graveler. Gravelers have historically been uh, on the team. Of course, we had the mighty Axolot, our leader, way back in, uh, I think, our Heart Gold playthrough, right? Somewhere up there, there's big old Axolot. We've had, we've caught a shiny Graveler before, so Graveler, a very familiar member of the team, but I still don't think of uh, it as a Pokemon that I typically reach for, but good uh, Pokemon also guys I've been saying I've been saying he Louisa and nice both female my bad about that Anyway, let's do a quick um, move change. They did pick up some new moves. We got water pulse on Louisa. That is good uh, That is a much stronger move despite the fact that our special attack is lower It was indeed doing more damage than aqua 
jet so like the, just the difference in power there the 60 to the 40 is still better it might it might have changed now that we evolved but uh there's that uh, yeah, we're not going to change any of those moves. We'll see if Nice picked up any potential move changes on the evolution there. Doesn't look like it. I did replace Rollout with Rock Slide, though, because it's just, um, stronger up front. Same accuracy. Can't build as strong, but we're not going to be around. We're going to just hopefully get rid of it before then. Or take out our opponent before we would need to build it up that much. Still have Iron Defense. Probably a good way to start our fights. Um, let's share our summary here. You can see you got that massive defense stat. The problem is that our special defense stat still isn't big. Now against Cleaver, uh, that'll be using um, defense, or that will be using uh, all physical attacks, so that's worth noting, that's good. Uh, yeah, we're gonna quit changing the moves there, and I'll give you a quick rundown here. Let's just go check summer, can I just? Yeah, let's look at everyone's. There we go, real quick. Boom! We I tried a few fights with Foon, exactly what I was afraid of. Very fragile, so I like having Foon, but not sure how uh, ultimately useful Foon's gonna be on the team. Uh, I have a feeling Grogu is gonna go the same way. I like I love Scyther so much, but very low defense, very high attack. Uh, look at that, it is not good that we have that special defense uh, negative nature on us. That could hurt us. Um, Prongs actually picked up a pretty cool move, Psy Shield Bash. That is new to this game. It was pretty cool. Cloaking itself in Psychic Energy. The user slams into the target and may use it, raise our defensive stats. That's exactly the kind of move we like to see, Prongs. Exactly the kind of moves we like to see. And then uh, nothing really new over on Mercury either, other than that Mercury got up to level 27, which is also good. Um, in a pinch, we could use uh, that Thunder Wave, we could use the Fire Fang, um, and both of those would be somewhat effective, although we could take damage. What I'm a little bit nervous of is whether or not Cleaver has any fighting type moves, and they could like hit Nice kind of hard like that, but I think Nice is going to be who we're going to try and roll with as we head over. Um, we're going to lead with Nice. Let's give a little pep talk to, the, to our uh, team here. All right, you two, are you ready? We are about to go fight Cleaver. You two will be our leaders. Do you understand? All right, nice, we're gonna lead with you. We're gonna go Iron Defense, I think, to try and mitigate damage, right? Good, you got it. Then, if we need to do more damage, if we need to switch out, that's where you're gonna come in, Luisa. We wanna hit him with that water damage. I'm not even sure it's not better to go with the water damage so we can switch, uh, mm, cause we wanna hit with that big one shot knockout. Like setting up seems like it might be dangerous, but we can always use potions. So I think if we can get off that iron defense, then use potion, we should be good. That's the plan anyway. All right, you guys, let's head on over. Let's head on over. Boom. Oh gosh, I'm nervous. I'm so nervous. We knocked out so many beautiflies during that fight, during that training session. I mean, hopefully we can fight cooler things moving forward. It's just like, that's, they were easily the most um, experience fodder that we had access to so it's just sort of the nature of the game there's our boy up there oh man all right we're gonna talk to him and that pretty much should initiate the fight i think so oh do i want to go with luisa or nice though who do i want to lead with here uh you want to hit that big damage but you don't want to get hit either uh we don't really have a way to slow him down so we may as well I think in that case, nice is the way to go. We just go iron defense and we just heal as needed. That's going to be the plan. That's going to be the plan. Nice. You got this. All right. Hey, so you got the galaxy. No, how was I doing? I hit this guy like, so you said the galaxy people came up with a method to try and quit low cleavers frenzy. What? You'll mash up Cleaver's favorite foods into balls so you can throw offerings at them? Well, that's quite an unorthodox approach, you galaxy people. Your inventive this just blows me away. I mean, now you can make offerings in Lone Cleaver from a safe distance. I never thought about throwing food at something before. I'll lend you my aid if it means we might provide Cleaver with this offering. Let's begin at once. Hold on, Lynn. Don't get ahead of yourself. Oh, it's Yurida. Whatever the plan is, you'll need Cleaver's favorite plump beans. I've brought them as promised. Yeah, that's right. My apologies, Yurida. I forgot all about you. I admit, blah, 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 blah. 
So prove to me you're worthy to stand in the presence of our noble Pokemon. You may battle by ordering about the Pokemon you've caught in little Pokeballs, but on my side, I have a Pokemon as close to me as a sister. It's one of my blood. If you can defeat Glaceon and me, I will entrust you with Cleaver's fate. Will you battle us? Uh, wait a minute. Hold on a sec. I uh, wasn't prepared to fight your Glaceon, but thank you for telling me exactly what you're using. Now we're prepared to fight you. We're going to leave with Mercury against the Glaceon so we can hit with that Fire Fang. Uh, yes, I will. All right, bring it on if I have to fight you, Irida. Glaceon! All right, so this shouldn't be that bad. We are 10 levels higher and can hit it for stab, right? Fire Fang, go. Bam. Yeah, so unless it kills us, which if it does, I'm going to be extremely upset. Yeah, no, we're good. Hurt by your burn. That should lower its attack. I'm not sure if that still works. You, you have to attack twice. Okay. See, that's what I don't love is that, like, sometimes the double attack thing really messes with my head. I'm like, oh, no. Now we'll attack again and we'll win. Never mind. They got to attack twice because this game's crazy. All right. I guess the good news is, I don't know how you evolve Stantler in this game, but obviously it does evolve, because maybe we'll get a weird ear on our team. That'd be pretty cool. You still understand the Pokemon you've caught in the Treatise Partners. I feel better putting my trust in you now. Huh, I think. Let me see your Pokemon's wounds. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What do you mean to do with these foods? Uh, <laughs> throw them at them? So because you have to keep your distance, you'll mash them together? <laughs> everyone this is like, everyone's so surprised, like, wait a minute, throwing food? What? <laughs> no one thought of a way to approach from a distance at all. Here we go. We made an infinite number of these little sacks of food. A literal infinite number for you to throw at. Um, I was gonna say, let's not be hasty. Hold on a sec. Don't give me that look. Don't give them that look. We just wanna make sure we're switching to the right. This is all I wanna do. That's it, okay? Um, I don't, that, that should be all that really matters as far as I can tell. Now then, ready yourself, now summon a mighty cleaver lord of the woods. Oh, I'm ready. Oh, I'm ready. Let's go. Well, I'll tell you what, I've been playing the, um, one of the other noble fights, uh, at home. Just been doing, like, after you beat the game, you can, like, refight them. I guess they're a little bit harder. I cannot beat one of them, I won't tell you which one. I mean, I'm sure I can, but it's, oh my gosh, it's so frustrating. I feel, like a lot of trying. I feel like it's good practice for these fights. Hopefully I'm getting better at it. <laughs> Hopefully we don't die. Hopefully this isn't the end of the run. It's been great. Good four episodes, everyone. Here comes Big Cleaver. Look at his mighty axe arms. Whoa. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Oh, man. Look at that golden scythe revolution. I kind of wish he just looked like this all the time. Like, he kind of turns brown after you beat him. I wish he just kind of looked like this. Just big and gold and awesome. All right, here we go. The trick is... Now, we don't want to get hit. That's obviously the trick. To claim victory, you must quell its frenzy. You have to throw bombs at it. Do you manage to, I wish they'd come up with a better word for them, bombs. Opening on the noble's defenses, you'll be able to send out your Pokemon to battle it. Win the Pokemon battle? Yeah. All right. Throw as many as you can. All right. So, the good news is... So, we're going to just immediately... we Yo, oh God, get out of the way. You can kind of hit it with stuff beforehand, but... We're good. Yeah. So he doesn't go nearly as fast as some of the later ones do. We just have to sort of dodge him. To be nice and safe. Oh boy. And let him just go. Oh boy. Oh no, see he hit us. Bad news bears, we don't like that. I don't know how we did that. All right, so he's obviously going to miss now. Oh, no! Get him! Get him nice! Can't see what's happening. I don't like it. Here's your chance to so show clever your power. Use double hit! No, 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 no. Got that hard-hitting stance. And here's what we're going to do. Is we're going to use, we're going to use our strategy of iron defense, right? Be a wall! Be the wall. He's going to boost his power. We have to raise our defense. Stealth rock. Okay. So this is like a new mechanic where, like, you, it's kind of like poison. It's just like you're hit by um, spiky stuff in the air around you. All right. Let's hit him with the old rock slide. You got it. Oh, yes. Excellent. Well done. Nice. Now we 
and keep going, actually. Woo! Oh, man, just like that, we're back out. Okay, so we knocked him out. Show Cleaver your power. We got him. We got him. Come on. He's going to use double hit. Okay, we're going to use the same thing. No reason to be crazy. Stick to the strategy. Use Iron Defense. Okay, all right. We got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. Stats are raised. His, he's going to... No, same fight. He's doing the same thing as last time. Don't... They... they okay, as long as we don't miss or anything. Let's go Rock Slide. Oh, why'd I say it? No! Now's when I'm nervous. Okay, all right. We're gonna rock. Maybe I. Uh, see, like, I think we're good. But here's actually what I'm gonna do I am going to use. I'm gonna. We cannot put ourselves in a bad position. So I'm just gonna heal here. Just so we're not in a bad position. Like, we're gonna take a little bit of damage, but it shouldn't be that bad. Okay, yeah, I feel comfortable there. Oh no, we're gonna go twice though! See what I mean? You see what nonsense this is? Abandon its hard hitting stance. Okay, so we should. Uh, we're gonna go for the rock slide here. Yeah, alright, that should knock him out again. Excellent, excellent. You can keep hitting him, it doesn't do as much damage, but it does still work. Gonna come at us now? I don't think so, bud. Pretty easily hide. Can we? Oh, we can heal right now. Actually, while we're not in battle, that's a very good tip right there. That way, when he comes back, when we get back in there, we're gonna be good. Okay, where'd he go? There he is. Sorry, blood. Sorry. We're missing. This is bad. Okay. Get him nice. Get him nice and good. <laughs> Show Cleaver your power. Air slash. Air slash. All right. If we rock slide him, we should be good. Hit him with the old rock sliding tin. Yes, yes. Knock him out. Then we're just going to pepper him with some bombs here. Boom, 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 boom. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Nope. Dodge. Nice, you got this. Bring us home. Bring us home. We get to go first? Nope, air slash. No good. Not good. Okay, it didn't do that much damage, though. He didn't use double hit. We're just going to go for the rock slide. We're going to hit him with the rock slide, and then we're going to finish him right here. This is going to be it. We're going to get him. We're going to get him. We're going to get him. Where are the bombs? That should be it. That should be it. I think we did it. Yes! And then you get this nice slow motion... Look at this epic bomb throw. Whoa, boo. Victory. Oh man. I'll tell you what, I think having done some of the other boss fights in the game, this one felt a little bit easier. <laughs> Nonetheless, we must remain vigilant. I think all of our training was very worth it. Everything worked out. Almost everyone got a level. Nice, you crushed it. Yeah, nice to meet ya. <laughs> Oh, you reserved the insect plate from Cleaver. Excellent! Excellent. Here we go. All right, see you later. It's too bad he doesn't just, like, join your team. Not that we need one, because we already have Scyther, which evolves into that anyway. And honestly, we probably, if given the opportunity, we probably will evolve Scyther. Um, just for the extra power boost. Plus, it's more fun. Even though Scyther is my favorite. Um, has Lord Cleaver's frenzied mind truly been put to ease now? Does this confirm the strange lightning was to blame for Cleaver's? Uh, maybe? You guys are asking for a lot of absolutes, and I just don't know. Well, this is what I well, this is what I think. After everything we've seen, we know Strange Lightning came out of the Space Rift the other night. Those bolts must have struck Cleaver and driven him into his frenzy. After all, yeah, Lightning came in that Space Time Rift. But if Almighty Sinnoh really does dwell behind the Space Time Rift and the Strange Lightning, it indeed was Almighty Sinnoh's power. And were even right to try to interfere? I happily went along with his plan to create some bombs, as if I knew what I was doing, like some kind of thoughtless fool. Outrageous! Calm yourself, Leon. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. What you got? Three citrus berries. All right, well, that seems like a fair reward. Thanks for, thanks for calming our noble Pokemon that we literally worship. Here's three berries. All right, 
For, yes, we did it. All right, you guys. I think that is going to be a uh, great spot to end today's episode. But man, well done. Nice. Totally putting in the work, getting those rock slides. We had that one miss, but otherwise, boom, nailed it. Crushed it. Well done. Nice. Uh, soon enough, we shall have all of you into a golem, and it will be amazing. And then uh, hopefully we'll also eventually evolve Mercury into a uh, Luxray. Luis is already fully evolved, so that's great. You can evolve. You can evolve. You can evolve. Boone, you're gonna, you got, you got some work to put in. I'm not gonna lie. You're, you're the second electric type on our team. I'm not saying no, but you know, you got, you got work to do. Uh, you guys know I love Raichu, but anyway. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Don't forget to leave a like on it if you haven't already, and subscribe so you don't miss any future Nuzlocke action from us. If you want a Pokemon named after you, the next episode, we're probably going to be going to some new regions. Make sure you leave some comments in the towel section down below. But until then, bye! And before we go, just want to give a huge shout out and thank you to all of our amazing patrons over on Patreon. Abby Mondin, Afropunk, Aiden Rudineras, Brianna Bouchard, Bryant, Dakota Ballantyne, Eduardo Bravo, Emerald Phoenix, Gamer Zylia, Gregory Lee, Jade Culture, James Buzanel, Karen Choi, Kimberly Lee, Lauren Alexandra, Luxpa92, Rashaba, Robbie Cruz, Stacy, and 0412. Again, thank you all so much for your continued support over over on Patreon. If you'd like to see your name on this wall, you can head over to patreon.com slash supercarlingaming. We also have some other really awesome tiers like our quarterly merch tier and one option to sit down and play some games with me and Ben once a month. If any of that sounds interesting to you, go check it out. Dead spork.